Wow, a shooting star! Back to on a full moon night. Let me make a quick wish. I wish I could time travel. Be careful what you wish for. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god, what is this gizmo? Why, it's a time machine. Don't you feel uh, over the moon? Now it's my turn to play with you a bit. You know, you know all the all controls. controls. Whatever landed myself into? Oh, why I couldn't just ask for a lifetime discount at Zara instead? Now I know what Iron Man must feel like. Let me go back in time, about 2000 years ago. To ancient Egypt, when Cleopatra lived. Oh no, but what if I get stuck here? Let me go to Europe instead, Scandinavia, 1100 years ago. Oh, this seems to be the age of Vikings. That can't be too bad. One second thought, let me travel to a time when humans lived in caves. Honey, on this new island, I got you honey. You are my moon. And that was the first honeymoon. Moon has been around much before any life began on earth. Every human being that has ever lived has seen or felt the moon. Usually it appears white and bright like a guiding light. So imagine how freaked out ancient humans would have been on seeing this. No! The ancient Inca people interpreted the deep red coloring as a giant jaguar attacking and eating the moon. They believed that the jaguar might then turn its attention to earth. So the people would shout, shake their spears and make their dogs bark and howl, hoping to make enough noise to drive the jaguar away. In ancient Mesopotamia or modern day Iraq, a lunar eclipse was considered a direct attack on the king, given their ability to predict an eclipse with reasonable accuracy. They would put in place a proxy king for its duration, while the real king would go into hiding and wait for the eclipse to pass. The proxy king would then conveniently disappear and the old king was reinstated. The term Blood Moon for Lunar Eclipse was popularized in 2013 following the release of the book Four Blood Moons by Christian minister John Hagee. He promotes an apocalyptic belief known as the Blood Moon Prophecy, highlighting a lunar sequence of four total eclipses that occurred in 2014 and 15. Okay, now let's come back to the science and astronomy of it all. So why does the moon get red? Ah, it seems the werewolves also want the answer to that one. So why red and not blue or yellow? Let's start with why the moon appears white. When white light from the sun shines on the moon, its surface reflects this light and moon appears white. But as we all know, during total lunar eclipse, Earth comes in between the Moon and the Sun. In this position, our Earth casts a shadow on the Moon. The Moon is completely within the shadow of the Earth and no light from the Sun can reach him. But then, shouldn't it be invisible? Why red? We are all forgetting about one major entity here, our Earth's atmosphere. When sunlight reaches Earth, this atmosphere acts as an obstacle in the path to the moon. In the atmosphere, colors of lower wavelength like blue or green get scattered, whereas colors of higher wavelength like red and orange passes through the Earth's atmosphere and illuminates the moon. Have a look at white light passing through this prism to understand the effect of atmosphere better. The light causes the moon to appear red during a total lunar eclipse. So now, if someone asks you a blood moon question, don't let your face turn red. The first lunar eclipse of the year is happening on 26th of May and will be visible in America 
Australia, South America and some of East Asia. But don't lose heart. The lunar eclipse shall be partial in India on May 26 and can be seen from 7.14 to 7.19 late evening. But the moon is very near to horizon, so you may want to go to a rooftop for any hope of catching this one. It's time to roll out the red carpet for the red moon.